If the ground began shaking right now, would you know what to do? Victoria's emergency coordinator experienced an aftershock in New Zealand just after the magnitude 7.1 earthquake in September 2010. It was actually quite startling and I couldn't outrun the earthquake. You can't outrun an earthquake. You've got to stay where you are and seek that shelter. Um, but while that's happening, while you're waiting for the earthquake to finish, all you can think about is, I really want this to stop. Rob John says when an earthquake hits, it is important to drop, cover and hold on until the shaking stops. That process is proven to save lives and reduce injuries. In March 2010, members of the Canadian Association for Earthquake Engineering traveled to Chile after the magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake. Seismologist John Cassidy with Natural Resources Canada was part of the reconnaissance team of researchers who observed the damage and assisted in the recovery efforts. It was very difficult to see um, communities that were, were virtually destroyed. Businesses were gone, people had lost their homes. There were about 300,000 homes that were destroyed during that earthquake. Cassidy says the damage caused by the earthquake and tsunami in Chile could also happen on the west coast of Canada and the U.S. And while a subduction earthquake doesn't happen very often, the experts say when it does, the effects are spread over a large area. That's a real problem for society because the big yellow machines you want in one area are needed virtually everywhere at the same time to fix things. So instead of two minutes of strong shaking as people in Chile experienced, we could be looking at three or four or five minutes of strong shaking. In this province, emergency planners take every opportunity to learn from other seismic events around the world. In this past year with Haiti, uh, Chile, as well as New Zealand, we have been able to connect with emergency managers in each one of those countries in order to get an understanding of what worked, what didn't, so that we can apply that to our emergency management planning. So if people and businesses know what to do when an earthquake hits, if they're prepared for the earthquake, then things will be much, much better afterwards. You can find earthquake preparedness tips online and learn more about the supplies you should have on hand to cope for a minimum of three days after an earthquake at preparevictoria.ca or visit the Provincial Emergency Preparedness website, pep.bc.ca.